if it turns out to be a fish here. Yep, look at there. Old speckled trout right there, y'all. So he'll just settle in there just a little bit. There we go. Old speckled trout right here on the beach. Of course, you can see right there it is. The thunder chicken popping cork right here on the beach. Live shrimp, and we've been fishing some artificial bait this morning. But I can tell you, they've been giving me a run for their money. I mean, getting a bite pretty much on every cast, but keeping them hooked up, well, that's just been another story today. But that right there is probably about a 13 and a quarter inch fish. I mean, that, that fish is big enough to keep right there, but I believe we've got some bigger fish out there. We'll put him back in here, and we'll keep on fishing down this beach as, as the tide comes in today, and we'll see if we can't get a few more fish caught. Ooh, 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 right there, right there, right there. Mr. Trout, I mean, back it up, baby. Well, there's definitely a big old wad of fish right here on the beach. You know, a lot of people aren't used to fishing for trout on the beach. But if you'll fish it wisely and move up and down the beach until you find the zone the fish are in, many times you'll come out of here with a pretty good mess of fish, especially during the spawning season for trout. We'll start seeing them moving up on the beach around April, mid to late April. May, June, and even into July, you'll find these, these speckled trout on the beach. But you also get a mixture of other fish like Jack Crevel, ladyfish, bluefish, Spanish mackerel, hey, even perhaps a tarpon. This fish right here is a little nicer. But there is another trout right there, y'all. That is what we had come for. A little nicer sized fish, you're probably looking at about a 16 inch trout. But right there goes to show you, you know, once you locate these fish on the beach, you know, you can get one bite after another. And this right here, hey, this is some pretty fun stuff. You know, of course, today we're fishing a Spectra Fiber Line. This is the Magic Braid that's a Bass Pro Shops product that I'm fishing with today because it floats. And when we're throwing these popping corks, a floating line, hey, it's awful important. But that trout right there is all right. I don't care where you go. He'll do just fine. There he is, right there, right on top of that wave. Right on top of that wave he was. Now that fish right there hit that XPS bait. And I switched over more to a uh, pearl color bait right here. And I shortened my leader up a little bit. It's probably about four feet deep right there where them fish are. But I got about a two and a half foot leader on there because you got to understand trout aren't necessarily this time of the year right on the bottom. They'll actually want to take a suspended bait sometimes more so than a bait that's on the bottom. So we'll see just what size fish this is. But you know, people ask me all the time how we fish these artificial baits and well, you're getting ready to see it firsthand right here. Right there it is. Well, there's the bait, the trout's on the floor. But that's what I'm fishing right there. That is a XPS bait right there. That's a Bass Pro Shops bait. Now they just came out with these right here and there's a weight right here in the middle of them and the hook's already pre-rigged in them. And it's a great bait. Let me pick up this trout right here just so you can see what we just, we just caught. All right, and that right there is what just happened, y'all. On the artificial bait right there. But that's one good thing about it. That artificial bait will stay on there, baby. There he is right there. And I got him. That paid off. Right there. Remember, when your cork goes down, reel down to your cork. And when you feel the weight of the fish on the rod, actually what we call is the rod loading up with the weight of the fish, then just pull back. Spectra fiber line doesn't stretch. So if you jerk real hard, many times you're going to jerk the bait right out of the fish's mouth. But look here, fishing it nice and slow and easy. That fish was able to come back and get it again. Looky, they are another trout. And here's the whole combination, guys. We're fishing about a two and three quarter to a three foot leader right here on the Thunder Chicken Popping Cork. And you can see the evidence right there. That's that XPS bait sold out of Bass Pro Shops right there in that trout's mouth. So when you want to fish artificial bait, think about this as a presentation. Hey, this will work pretty doggone good. And some days, 
And what, some days when you go fishing, you don't even have to tote any live bait with you. This will give you that chance to do so. But right there it is, y'all. For all y'all that's been calling and whatnot, asking how we're doing it, well, right here it is today. Artificial baits on a popping cork. Oh, there he was right there. Oh, he came back and got it again. That's when that jer not jerking hard pays off the best right there. Well, look here, y'all. If you ever plan on coming out here and fishing the beach, you'll want to take your tackle into consideration, especially what you're fishing with, because you need to make long, accurate casts, and you need to have a rod that's limber enough to fish these baits in this non-stretch line where you won't pull the hook out of every fish you hook up. And right there is another trout on the XPS. And that's just a good average size fish. Just to let y'all know what I'm fishing with right here as far as tackle is concerned. This right here is an inshore extreme rod and it's eight foot long. Now it's rated for up to around 17 pound test line, but it's rated for as low as eight pound test line. An eight foot rod with that type tip on it has a lot of good action and it's soft enough to have a little bend in it when you hook these fish right here because remember if your line doesn't stretch you need a rod that's going to work well for you. Now I'm fishing that Pro Qualifier Reel, the 4000 from Bass Pro Shops as well. well actually, as a matter of fact, the boat we're in today, a 22 foot Mako, this is one of the, the new bay boat that they have up there at Tracker Marine. This is a great platform. So really, if you want to come out here and fish for these trout on the beach or really anywhere you want to go, well, I know the women folk out there, if you don't like your husband spend a lot of money, they won't want to hear this right here, but you can go to Bass Pro Shop to get everything you need. XPS bait, hey, the Thunder Chicken Popping Court, they sell it there too. The eight foot inshore extreme rod, as well as the Pro Qualifier Reel. Hey, go up there, pick up what you need, and come on down here and get on some of these trout. Well, right now we can also see some bait coming up and down the edge of the bank. It looks like there's some glass minnows and some menhaden, or what we call pogies, that's coming along the edge of the bank. And looks like these trout are traveling right there with them. But again, there it is. And I tell you, I was really surprised on how many people was actually asking me, you know, what kind of bait are we fishing on these popping corks to catch these trout? And this is artificial bait. I mean, even in tournaments that you fish artificial bait in, this is a legal presentation. But I can tell you one thing, speckled trout have no problem with it whatsoever. Anything you put underneath that thunder chicken, that thunder chicken popping cork, I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna work and it's gonna let you catch fish when you can't catch them any other way. And if you're really paying attention, I'm probably making an average of a 45 yard cast every time I'm throwing. You know, many people ask me, you know, Mark, how in the world can you throw these corks that far? Well, if you got the right kind of tackle and the right kind of cork that's made to throw, you can make these long casts. And the further you can cast, the longer you have the opportunity to present the bait to the fish. And it'll make a big difference on what you can catch by the end of the day. Keep your wits about you and don't jerk real hard. And there comes another fish right there, right off the backside of the cast. He's just a little guy, but he still didn't have any problem eating that bait. Wow. Go on back there, fella. Put it right back in there again. Oh yeah, the bite's on. There he is, there he is, oh! And that was the third bite right there. Now when the, when the cork's hitting the water many times, y'all, I'm gonna pop that cork. Now, a lot of people don't really think that snatching on that line will make a big difference, but when you got a cork that's made to attract fish, Hey, you pop that thunder chick and it makes that click with that artificial bait below it, the bait will come up and then sink back down and right then is when the fish comes in there and hits it. And right here, once again, I mean, I missed, I missed the fish right off the bat, popped it, let it fall back down there, popped it again, and there he was, came right back in there and ate it up. It just got too good for him. Oh my, this ought to be a shame. Another speckled trout. Another speckled trout on the XPS. Well, he kind of popped off the hook there for that I don't want to be on TV moment. But there it is again, y'all. 